Good evening, I'm Shogun Mohammed, and this is the 7 o'clock news. A telephone call between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Iraq, Burham Saleh, was held today, in which His Majesty expressed appreciation for the position of the Iraqi government on the attack on the Bahraini embassy in Baghdad and for taking the appropriate security measures to protect it. His Majesty expressed pride in the Bahraini-Iraqi relations and in the efforts that have been undertaken to develop them further on all levels in the service of the two countries and their peoples. For his part, the President of Iraq affirmed his pride in all the reinforces the deep-rooted bilateral ties and stressed that Iraq would not accept any attempts to undermine these relations. President Salah went on to express this appreciation for the Kingdom of Bahrain's constant support for Iraq across all circumstances. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs condemned the attack on the building of the Embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in Baghdad by protesters, which damaged the Embassy building. The Ministry therefore decided to summon Bahrain's ambassador to Iraq for consultation. The Ministry also said that the Iraqi government bears the full responsibility of protecting the Bahraini Embassy and Consulate, as well as their staff in its territories, based on the Vienna Convention of 1961. The United Arab Emirates strongly denounced the attack on the building of the Bahraini Embassy in Iraq. The UAE Foreign Ministry and International Cooperation stated that the UAE regards the attack as a flagrant violation and called on the government of Iraq to carry out its responsibilities and international commitments as per the international treaties and conventions which guarantee the safety of diplomats. The ministry affirmed the importance of protecting diplomatic headquarters and providing them with the necessary protection as per its commitments to international law and Vienna Convention. The ministry also affirmed the UAE's solidarity with the Kingdom of Bahrain against any threat to the security of its diplomatic missions. The Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council also strongly denounced the attack on the building of the Bahraini Embassy in Iraq and said that it violates the Vienna Convention of 1961, which governs diplomatic relations. The Secretary General called on the government of Iraq to carry out its political and legal responsibilities based on the international treaties that guarantee the full security of the Bahraini Embassy and Consulate and their staff. The Secretary General also called on holding those who attacked the embassy to account. The General Secretariat of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation expressed its strong condemnation of the attack on Bahrain's embassy in Baghdad. It called on the Iraqi government to exert all its efforts to protect diplomatic missions in accordance with international law and the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations, as well as to prosecute the perpetrators of the attack and bring them to justice. In a meeting attended by the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal, on the margin of the Women Political Leaders Summit in Tokyo, as per the invitation of the Executive Director of the United Nations, and which was attended by the Speakers of Parliament from Latvia, Zimbabwe and Estonia. The attendees of the meeting praised Bahrain's project of women's progress, as well as all of the efforts and initiatives that have made the Bahraini experience a model to emulate. Zainal said that Bahrain has taken significant steps in the field of supporting women and has achieved great results in all fields as a result of its commitment in this regard. Zainal said that the Council of Representatives is proud of the international parliamentary praise which has been directed at Bahrain's program of supporting women. Zainal said the Council is ready to coordinate and cooperate with all parties to internationalize the Bahraini parliament experience. Zainal affirmed that Bahrain's achievements in this field are due to the vision and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as the ongoing efforts and initiatives of Her Royal Highness the wife of His Majesty the King. President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, which turned Bahrain into a role model and has provided women with their full rights.